Hello everyone, welcome to Funshine X's Computerizing Minecraft episode 18. Uh, this is my Let's Play Minecraft with mods, and I did something a little bit different. I uh, hope you watched the time lapse or you clicked on the link to skip to here. Either way, I want to show you off my new Red Power Frame door. This is the portal room to my factory, and I wanted to make sure that none of the uh, thomic energies of this portal leaked into my factory and uh, contaminated all my stuff. So I had to build a nice containment door. Uh, this will be able to be closed by one of my computers lately in the uh, in the operating room. Uh, but right now it's just controlled by these pressure plates. I'm not really liking the pressure plates set up, so I think I'm going to use the laser mod and run a laser across this room so that when you pass through it, it'll open the door. And uh, oops, if I get too close to that thing, I get some chunk errors. But anyway, so if I go ahead and step on the pressure plates, this thing will separate as you saw in the video. It's pretty quick and then you can run through. And uh, right now I don't have anything to close it. I need to put like another timer there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to explain how I build it. So as you saw, I built the uh, the frame outline of kind of like an uh, inverted E shape on this one. And then I uh, put these um, basalt covers on them. And that's not just for aesthetics. On frames, they're going to attach to any block next to them. And since I have these walls on the side, I don't want them to pull the wall with it. I just want the frames to go. And I also want the, don't want them to stick together. I want them to separate. So I had to pretty much cover the entire thing with a basalt or any type of cover. I just went with basalt for for looks. I think it looks good with the frame outline. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's uh, what I did build with the frame. Uh, the next thing I did is you saw I put the, the motors in there and I had a heck of a time getting those to work because it kept getting stuck or hitting a block. There was a torch back there that gave me nightmares uh, because it was like right here and it was getting, the frame thought it was stuck to that torch or pushing that torch. Uh, but anyway, you see that the um, the frame has a freedom of movement of about three squares to close the complete door. And uh, so I need two to touch the two motors, one for forward, one for reverse, and also the three extra. And that way I can, um, I don't think this will work because, well, actually, yeah, with the, there we go. It's probably going to try and set it backwards, but you can see if it goes all the way to three, we're at the other side. So this way, even if it goes three this way or three this way, it's always touching both motors. And the only really part of the frame that's exposed is this part down here, so the motor can act on it. And uh, everything else is covered in basalt covers. Okay, so um, the alignment on these is you want this little yellow V sticking toward the frame that you want to move. And then you also want the little arrow that you can't really see here because it's inside um, the direction you want to go. So you shift click to uh, move the block around and then you just regular click to move the arrow around and that's with a screwdriver from Red Power. So I got both of those and then I wanted them to move in sync. So I have the two yellow lines uh, open the, do the door and the two red lines close the door. And you know I can just test it here you know, with, with whatever I'm doing here. Then I put in this timing system and uh, we have a timer that's running at 0.85. That's the lowest you can go uh, before the movement um, is slower than the actual timer and then you start missing ticks. So this gives an, a nearly fluid movement, not quite, but it's close. Okay, and I only want this to uh, to either tick the open or the closed. So you'll see what I have is a, a timer here that can go up to three times because I want it to either open, go to left three times or right three times. And when it does, it's going to set off this redstone signal which goes into this AND gate and then basically resets the timer, decrements it back down to zero. So that's how the the, the timer works, or the, uh, the counter works. Uh, and then that counter, every time it um, reaches three, it'll also toggle this between yellow and red, yellow and red. So that means it'll open three times, then close three times, open three times, close three times, which is perfect. So these are just AND gates and they basically say, is it you know, if it's time to open and I get a timer tick, this man gate there, then send a yellow uh, input. So even though the red one is getting a signal from the timer, because the toggle switch is not on red, it will not do anything. Okay, so that's how it's set up for the most part. And it was just opening, closing, opening, closing. And then I wanted a some pressure plates. So I've wired these under the floor on this red wire. 
And this just goes across a null cell, and that, all the null cell does is mean the two wires don't interact. It just lets you cross over uh, top of wires without um, affecting the other one. That goes into an AND gate as well. So now it has to reach um, the, the three seconds, but it won't decrement back to zero and start opening or closing until it gets a signal from the pressure plate. So that's how the signal works, uh, the circuitry works. It's pretty simple. I could easily put some um, computer controls in here to do a very similar thing, and I probably will do that eventually, uh, but I want to do that with gates for now. Okay, let's see if I can get out of here without getting blown up by a creeper as well would be nice. And where are we? Like halfway open, halfway closed here. It's all right, we just go get the step on this guy. Um, I did build this in creative mode in a test world first, just so that I could do it fairly fast. It took about 45 minutes the first time this, or maybe an hour and a half the first time, and this one took only about half an hour um, to reproduce it here. Uh, mainly because since I'm not creative, I can't fly around, so just getting in some of those cracks to put the cover stone, there the covers on, took a while. Let's go and hit the pressure plate, and you'll see it'll, it might be in a bad state now because it's half open, half closed. I think I broke it. See, the only way in is really this power line. Probably because I left these on. Is it going now? Okay, fully closed. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we can step in the pressure plate and it'll open for us. Step on it again, and it'll close. So if you go kind of slow, fast over it, and this portal actually kind of throws you over. So originally I had it here, and the portal was like throwing me over the top of the pressure plate, and I wasn't hitting it. But this one, now you actually do hit it as you go across. But I still, I just don't like the pressure plate. I think if I make a laser with a sensor and then make it uh, transparent, that'll work really good. I'll probably put that system in when I change this over to computers. Um, so that's it. It's a pretty short episode. Most of it was just a time lapse. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, that kind of lets me just sit there and build and figure out stuff ra rather than just uh, build it off camera. At least you get to see how it was built. And uh, you can uh, build one yourself now. It's, it's not that hard. I've seen a lot of red power contraptions, but I don't think a lot of people are making doors yet. And I think they're a perfect application for doors. Um, you know, it's pretty difficult in Minecraft to make a, a big door. You have pistons, you have to have a lot of redstone, a lot of sticky pistons to do stuff. Frames, while expensive, uh, can accomplish it very nicely. Um, I mean, you could just have a simple door with just uh, two things that kind of opened, you know, split apart. I went with this more of a interlocking uh, fashion door. So that's all for this episode. Uh, come back for episode 19 where we expand on our buildcraft room and uh, get some, some engines going in there so we can have electricity to do more cool stuff like a quarry or, or maybe a builder so I can use a builder on some of my other rooms. And uh, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoy. Please comment, subscribe, hit the like button, and keep watching more episodes. Ciao, guys. Bye.